channel vibe with Lisa Monet. I'm back with another video. I ain't going nowhere. <laughs> but today is a mom life video. I'm going to be showing you guys how to bathe a newborn baby. All right, so definitely stay tuned. Um obviously I'm going to have clothes on him for the purpose of this video. So hopefully YouTube will push this video and not try to flag it or any of that unnecessary stuff. I just know I got a lot of pregnant first time moms or new moms who just had the babies a couple of days ago and i'm gonna show you how i give my baby a bath all right so um definitely stay tuned make sure to like comment subscribe turn that post notification bell on and these next clips the camera's gonna be pointing at the tub so you're just gonna see me bathing him you won't see too much of me that's why i just want to do the intro real quick before i get into it okay so definitely stay tuned all right you guys so i have my baby boy putting him in the water as you see I only put a little bit of water <laughs> say hi papa mm. you gonna do a YouTube video with mommy so how I bathe him is I let him lay here and I take my washcloth and I'm not gonna use the soap and all that while I'm showing you guys because he still has clothes on obviously but get my washcloth and I put just a little bit of water because I don't want him to um, be drowning, obviously. <laughs> but I just put like a dime of soap. I take my washcloth, clean his legs off. And he just started to calm down when he's in the tub, thankfully. But when I hold him up, I pop him up by his head. Cause he knows how to hold his head up, but not really. But yeah, so I'll be trying to hold his head up for him. I would usually wring my towel out a little bit, wipe his face off, get all that dried up milk and boogers and eye boogers. You gonna stay calm for the video, Papa? It's okay. <laughs> yes, I clean his neck. And I just clean his ears a little bit in there because I want to get no soap for all his ears. Clean behind his ears. <laughs> you feel good in the tub. And then, I'm just going to clean your hair though. He has to look at me, y'all. <laughs> Hi. Then I'll wet his hair. And mind you, like I said, there's usually soap on this towel. But yes, the main thing is, if your baby's not big enough to support their neck yet, please hold their neck while you're giving them a bath. Like I said, this tub, when I sit him down, he'd be good. But when you put water on his towel and clean his hair, make sure you get them edges. See, his hair is really curly at the back. While we're doing that, let's clean his neck. Yeah. So you're relaxing this time, huh? Let me see. Oh yeah, and these are the products I use. Let me read them to you. Shea Moisture, Raw Shea, and Conamile, Camomile, my bad. C-H-A-M-O-M-I-L-E, and Ergon Baby Oil, wash and shampoo. This is what I use in his hair and to wash his body. And then this is the lotion I use after I get him a bath. Let me get his comb. This is the comb I use to comb his hair. And I didn't put any product in here yet, but I always wet my boy's hair before I comb it at all. So let's see if we can get some. Yeah. And I, I pick it out a little bit and then finger detangle the rest. Cause you know, sometimes be little naps in there. Don't wanna hurt the little baby. Stay still, Papa. <laughs> But easy, yeah, comb his whole head. Because um, thankfully he doesn't have a lot of cradle cap. But for a minute he did. But I've been combing it all out and like applying. I put that um, shampoo in his hair. And then I've been putting the lotion in his hair too. And I haven't had any issues with it. But you see, my baby got some long hair. Say so lint check. But y'all yeah, comb his hair. And then I'll wash his whole body. Wash his feet, his legs. Yeah, and then make sure for the private areas that you be gentle 
We get between the uh, cracks of the legs, underneath, up top. Then say, I wash your stomach. I wash his hands. Make sure you guys are clean underneath the kid's arms, okay? Because you wouldn't think so, but it'd be like length and dirt and too much stuff going on. What happened to your arm? <laughs> you gotta take a bath. I'm surprised he's staying calm. Um, usually when I get him bath, first when he was born, he'd be here screaming, but look at the camera, Junior. I mean, not Junior, I'd be messing up their name. Look, LaShawn. <laughs> he wanna look at me so bad. Look, see, I'm taking a bath. Let me turn you towards them. Can you do that? Sit right here. <laughs> yeah. I have him sit right here so y'all can see better. But like I said, I'll clean his neck. Get his belly. Clean his hands. Like I said, make sure y'all cleaning their hair really good. Their underarms, their hands, because believe it or not, he don't even be doing much. But his nails be dirty for what reason? I'm not even sure. <laughs> and then his nails be growing so fast, I be got to clean them 24-7. But yeah, I mean, of course you clean their booty. And I propped them up so y'all could see my little precious baby. He didn't even look at y'all. Let's y'all look. See, this is my mommy giving me a bath. How to bathe a newborn. Because to me, he's still a newborn. He's three months, but, you know, he's not holding his head up yet. He is rolling over, trying to crawl and whatnot. Let me put you back over here. But he's relaxing. Say, I love the water now. But, yeah, he's trying to crawl. He's rolling over, sleeping on his stomach. I have to keep checking on him, trying to turn him back. But, literally, as soon as I put him down, he'll roll over on his stomach. He's supposed to not be doing that yet, I don't think. This is just like five months. But oh yeah, make sure um your water. So y'all can see. <laughs> so this is weird because I'm trying to get a good angle of him. But make sure your water is like lukewarm. You don't want the water to be too hot. Because that will definitely burn them. But yeah, just make sure you're not giving them a bath too often. I get him a bath probably like maybe once or twice a week. Ever since his umbilical cord fell off, I gave him a sponge bath when I first brought him home. But now I'd be giving him a bath once or twice a week, depending on what we'd be doing. If we're out and about a lot, maybe twice a week. But usually just once a week and comb his hair real good. And like every other day, I try to comb his hair, apply lotion to it. Because like I said, um, a lot of newborns do get cradle caps. So, yeah. But I just wipe them down real good. And this is like a fake bath, obviously. Don't be in the comments like, you didn't clean him good. Because when I turn this camera off, these clothes and this diaper are finna come off and we finna get to it, huh? See, but for YouTube, we wanna show you guys how mommy gives me a bath. But he's so calm and relaxed. And this, um, let me see. Where the body wash go? Something about this body wash, I think it calms him down. It says no sulfates, no Peruvians. No mineral oils, no animal testing. Let's see what it says. Fair trade, shea butter, caramel, mild, arrogant oil. Apply a small amount to the face, body, and hair. Avoid eye contact, lather, and rinse thoroughly, gentle enough for everyday use. Calm and comfort for your baby with a bath time ritual. The sulfate free wash and shampoo, specially based with chamomile, arrogant oil, and fair trade shea butter helps keeps baby delicate skin soft and smooth. And that's crazy because he went to his four month appointment and um, the doctor was like, what do you use on his skin? His skin is so nice and soft and like glowing. And I didn't remember, but it's shea moisture. I was just showing y'all the products I use in case you wanna buy them. They should have my Walmart Target. Let me see if I can get a better. There you go. And then it's the lotion. I had it for a while, so it's kind of faded and running out. But those are the products I use for him. These, this is his washcloth. Got this from Walmart too. This tub was a gift, but I'm not sure where I got it from, but you could weigh them. Um, it has a menu, let me see. What does the menu have? It's a pounds and then you can weigh them. That's what I like about the tub. Let's see if it'll tell me his weight. Cause last time he got weighed, he was 
10 pounds. <laughs> Hi, Papa. Get my baby hair again. So curly. But yes, I'm about to finish bathing him once we turn this camera off. Thank you for doing this video with mommy. <laughs> Babe, once my kids get older, I'm probably uh, get, make them a YouTube channel. Say, we're going to do YouTube too. Mommy's going to help us grow our channel. <laughs> but yes, that's how I bathe my baby. Like I said, please make sure you're combing their hair when you give them a bath. Clean under them arms, them hands. Basically the whole body, that back, that booty, them feet. <laughs> Make sure you guys get into it. Oh, look at your hair. It's so long. And his hair, thankfully, isn't balding for real for real yet. It came out like super full, but certain parts is thinning. But it's it's good. You are being so good for this video. I'm glad he is being good. Cause the last couple of um times I gave him a bath, like when we came back from that um South Carolina when we went out of town. I gave him a bath in this tub and he was screaming the whole time. And then the time before that, like the two times before that he was calm and then every other time before that he was just screaming the whole time. But I'm surprised he just chilling. <laughs> See, I'm trying to be good for mommy's video. I don't want to be crying the whole time. <laughs> but yes, that is how you bathe a newborn. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you share this video, like, comment, subscribe, turn the post notification bell on. And we will see you next video. Thank <laughs> you.